175 a liter. What a sight to behold. Jeez. If you're wondering what that is for me, I'm not empty empty, but 175 a liter, 40 quid, was 22 liters. I mean, the car does have a small tank anyway. It's a lot of money. A lot of money. Alright guys, I was going to do a POV of the steering wheel so that you understand um, what it's like when driving. But the GoPro decided to die, so no POV today, and I'm gonna have to just quickly give you guys a rundown. So in today's video, we are going to replace this M Performance steering wheel that I already have in the car. Now this mod, I've been wanting for a long time in the car, and finally it became available. Uh, price was a lot lower than um, what I expected, but let's just see it. The uh, Jaguar on the go. Yeah, you see now. Anyways, um, yeah, so it become a lot affordable now so I was going to do a POV as I said before but the GoPro died well basically when I bought the car I already came with this M performance steering wheel it was a lot different to what I was accustomed to which is just a normal steering wheel like everybody else but the um, issue so as you can see it's finished with Alcantara on the side which is a bit knackered now um, you got the blue 12 o'clock stripe and then of course finish with this dry carbon here but um, when I first got it I couldn't really gel with it because the sides were too thick for me especially the 10 and 2 positions I guess it's great on track but not on a daily driving basis so with this uh, LED race wheel that we're about to fit it's a lot thinner on the sides it's just gonna be like a normal not on the sides it's gonna be a lot thinner all around it's just gonna be like a normal steering wheel which is gonna be great it's gonna look good it's gonna be full Alcantara with the LED on top um, yeah I can't wait you know just to finish off the interior really that's why I got the race steering wheel and it's always been a mod that uh, I wanted to put in the car um, it, it's quite expensive so I'm yet to know whether it's really worth it or not but deep down I know it's worth it regardless of how much I paid but if you want good price check out <coughs> 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 Good price. Ah! <laughs> I'm not sick, it's just phlegm. But if you want good price, go check out Elliot Cutter on Facebook. That's where I got the steering wheel from. He's all the way from Scotland in Harry Furban in Edinburgh, I believe, or just outside Edinburgh. Uh, go check him out, drop him a message, and he gave me a really good price for the steering wheel. I mean, they had an offer going at the moment, that's why it's quite cheaper than usual. Alright guys, so we just got to Munich Power here in Alsford, uh, surrounded by BMWs everywhere. Uh, if you guys don't know, Munich Power is specialist in BMW Mini, hence the BMWs obviously. Uh, right next to me is a very tasty X3M, it has the S58 engine, shares the same engine with the new M3s and M4s and uh, yeah it looks really beefy it's quite cool okay so didn't do an unboxing video but this came from BMW direct so it's a genuine OEM part oh. it's good right I'll just give you guys a quick comparison size for size if it allows me to so yeah it's the same circumference I guess it's just less thicker on the sides and yeah so we will have this led flashing up top here which lets you know to change gears um, i'll probably set that between five and a half to five to six thousand rpm because i don't want to be um i don't want this to be intrusive at night and flashing all the time even though it'll look cool but you know we want to keep it usable as well for daily use oh okay guys a little bit windy than expected but i've just got myself breakfast mcdonald's nearby quickly gonna chow this down and um yeah just gonna look for something to do because this is probably gonna take gym about a couple of hours because quite a busy guy but um yeah let me chow down and i'll get back to you in a bit my old steering wheel as you can see really really chunky it's really stiff and hard here on the sides 
so it's just come off now but yeah genuine bmw parts here interesting 2017 so yeah i guess the guy that um, the old owner expected when he was back in the car same year so cool Cool, cool car is there so just doing some updates a few moments later welcome back to the video as promised i'm gonna show you guys what it's like when the lights go off oh did you see that oh so i've set the wheel to 4700 rpm so it's like a race car essentially it's really really cool oh there we go of course expected you see that you saw that live in the video common fault of an m2 is the indicators going crazy so that's that. I'll just show you guys one more pull. I don't want to destroy too many people right now because they might think I'm trying to get them out of the way. But you see the lights are flashing. Oh, I love it. I love it. So you can set the RPM a lot higher, a lot lower, should you wish. But right now I've set it to 4700. Because you don't want it to be going up all the time, so obviously the wheel also has uh, other features as well, like uh, uh, you can do like laps and you can check the temperature of the car and stuff like that. So now we're just in 3,000 RPM. You see? So yeah, I like it. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video there. That is the M Performance LED race wheel fitted on the car uh, it's been really cool to just have it on oh see wait 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 I need to just uh, so to activate it you hold down two buttons right to toggle to the menu it okay so you need to be on this one here and then press right once no that's not true go left and hold it down one two three four five then you'll get to the RPM mode so I'll just decrease it now so that I can quickly just show you guys uh, when these people are not looking so they don't think that I'm an asbo in no squirt. Come on, walk further, walk further, walk further. So I, okay, let's just lower it down because really I just, I just want I just want you guys to see it. <laughs> let's do it. Even lower. Even lower. There you go, you see? You see that? It's flashing. So with this toggle switch you can change it all right so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit that thumbs up and i'll see you for the next one